keep it simple. What's up, my name Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at my top five Vanguard index funds. So um, in the past, I did a video about my top five Vanguard uh, dividend ETF. So if you didn't get a chance to watch that video, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. Um, the reason why I'm doing this series is because I've been getting a lot of questions from people that don't really want to have to do research on individual stocks to build a dividend portfolio. I do have a dividend portfolio with over um, 40 different um, dividend paying stocks. So if that's something that you want to be able to see, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Um, that'll take you to my blog and you can definitely see um, the individual stocks. But if you don't have the time to research individual stocks and uh, kind of build that kind of a portfolio, if you just want an easy route, um, ETFs and index funds are the way to go. Like I said, I did my top five uh, uh, ETFs. So today I'm doing my top five um, index funds. So um, we're doing specifically Vanguard um, uh, index funds so before we actually get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that really interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content um so vanguard uh, index funds are one of my favorites um i have them in my 401k have them in my roth ira and in my traditional ira account so um just because it gives you that cushion of diversification in the market and then you don't have to worry about doing uh, research uh, one of the benefits of having um, index funds is that you are kind of like a covered because uh you have all these other stocks that are make up that index fund if things were to go south um, all those companies don't crash at the same time even though with something like the virus uh, we, I took a big hit in, with my index funds but I don't really care because um, it's a long-term uh, position so I'm not looking at leveraging it for my retirement anytime soon so I'm just gonna let it sit there and grow so uh, before we jump in and take a look at the five um, index funds that I want to show you guys today um, I, I go about choosing this index fund based on four major criteria number one is the track record of the index fund so uh, over 10 years how has this index fund been performing so I want to see that performance how like the growth over 10 years so and when we jump into the, actually looking at the funds you will see on the chart how I actually look at that. Um, number two is that it does it um, outperform the S&P 500. Um, if it does outperform the S&P 500, then that shows to me like, hey, this is an index fund that I really care about. Number three is their um, expense ratio. So if the expense ratio is under 1%, usually um, I would consider it and it, I really want to make sure that it's a really good index fund, but um, usually 0.5%. Um, zero five is where my sweet spot that's where I would kind of start looking at but um, expense ratios under one percent is good uh, compared to if you were doing a managed fund it would be a lot more expensive which would be like 1.5 percent which is um, crazy and then I'll look at management so management is uh, who is managing that fund and is there some of a turnover ratio um, on the management if there's a lot of people coming in and leaving that particular fund that tells me there's something not right there so if somebody has been managing that fund consistently over 10 years 15 years 20 years it tells me they know exactly what they're doing and if i can see that there's that growth and then that's how um i would consider it so those are the four key uh, ways that i or uh, things that i consider before choosing uh, my index fund so now let's jump on the computer here um definitely take a look at the index funds that I want to show you guys today. So um, for most of you guys, uh, if again, if you're new to, to this and you're just looking like, hey, I don't want to have to spend time researching, then this is really where you want to start. So um, first guy on the blog is the Vanguard uh, Total Stock Market Index Fund um, VTSAX. This is really a classic. So again, I've talked about this on the channel for people that are and the fire movement this is you cannot see a portfolio for somebody that is doing fire that's financial independent retire early uh, that doesn't have vtsax so it's crazy so let's take, take a look expense ratio is 0.04 percent which is good um, the only downside of this particular fund, again, for most of this fund, is that it has um, a minimum investment amount, which is $3,000 in this case. So if you're just starting out, check out the, the top five index, um, the top five ETFs that I mentioned earlier, 
and that might get you started. And the reason why, if you don't have, say, $3,000 to get started in an index fund, you can actually uh, invest in ETFs that kind of match this particular index fund. So if you see um, up here, um, Vanguard has the, the, the ETF that matches this particular um, index fund. So definitely go check it out. So let's uh, take a, 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 a detailed look on this. So um, a hypothetical $10,000 invested in this stock or in this ETF over, goodness. So a hypothetical um, $10,000 invested in this index fund over um, 10 years would have given you uh, maybe about $20,000 return in over 10 years, which is awesome. So uh, again, if you look at the, the rate of return here, um, it's been doing pretty good. And so look at their since inception, it's given about maybe 6% return, which is awesome. So here's a composition of their index fund. So we're looking at, um, uh, let's just go straight. So it, it covers the basic um, uh, sectors, which is awesome. And then look at your key holdings. I see tech is in there high, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, uh, Google, which is Alphabet, Facebook, which is great. So all the composition there tells me like, hey, this is a solid, solid um, index fund. So you cannot go wrong with this guy. So definitely check them out. All right, so let's jump to number two. Number two is the Vanguard Growth Index Fund. Um, this one, uh, V-I-G-A-X, ticker symbol. Um, expense ratio 0.05. Um, again, minimum investment is $3,000. It has an ETF associated with it. If you don't have $3,000 to start, you can definitely take that ETF until you, you have $3,000, then you can jump in there. Um, again, let's look at the uh, risk potential is for high risk, high reward. That's the way you have to see it. So here is what the performance has been over 10 years. So look at this. Um, last 10 years has been, I mean, like it's been crazy. Um, um, since inception, uh, which is 2000 till now, it's maybe about 6% again. Uh, if you look at right here, look at their hypothetical $10,000 invested in this stock in 2010, uh, you would have made over, uh, let's see, about $27,000 uh, in returns, which is great. And this is a growth, um, this is a growth um, uh, index fund. So let's look at the composition again. Look at the composition here. Again, look at the composition here. It almost matches um, um, VTSAX. Um, and, and so, again, that's just something for you to, to really consider. Number three, VLCAX, um, Vanguard Large Cap Index Fund. So, um, again, expense ratio 0 0.05, which falls in my sweet spot. Um, um, minimum investment amount is three grand. Um, again, it has an, uh, an equivalent ETF that you can go take a look at um, and, and make sure that if you don't have $3,000, you can still buy an ETF that kind of uh, mimics this particular index fund. So um, look at the risk is four, which is kind of high risk, but again, high risk, high reward. Um, return is over close to about 8% um, since inception. Um, a hypothetical $10,000 from 2010 to 2020, you're looking at close to about uh, $23,000 in return, which is crazy. Uh, let's look at the composition. Again, all major sectors are in there. Uh, look again, the, the main uh, holdings are what we just talked about earlier. All these are companies that we saw in the other two. So um, this is not a great one to have. Um, so moving on to number four on my list is uh, VEIPX, um, the Vanguard Equity um, Income Fund. So S1 expense ratio is 0.27, which is higher. I mean, higher like crazy. Um, again, in my in my estimation, is higher. But again, I say anything under one percent is really not so bad. Uh, so now let's look high risk. And then and look at look at the returns here. So the, the, if the returns here is almost ten percent since inception, that's insane. Uh, so this is good. So again, if you had invested a hypothetical ten thousand dollars in this, you would have um, close to about twenty one thousand uh, dollars before the crash in twenty twenty. Um, so composition again, this one has a mixture of really good stocks, uh, Johnson & Johnson, JP uh, Morgan Chase, um, Verizon, Cisco, and these are all um, in the, uh, dividend paying uh, stocks, which is awesome. So, I mean, like the list here, you cannot go wrong with that list.
I'm just loving it. Um, and then number five would be Vanguard Real Estate Index. So again, this is you uh, doing some diversification in your portfolio. If you want to get into real estate and you don't want to buy individual real estate companies, then you get an index fund or you get an ETF that mimics our, the, the, the particular index fund. So this is awesome. Again, returns are um, not so bad. Um, high risk, again, with high risk comes high reward. Um, hypothetical 10,000 invested would have given you close to about $16,000 in, in profit over 10 years, which is still not bad, but at least you get some diversification in your portfolio. So these are the different holdings that we have um, in there. So um, those are my top five. And then um, as bonus, there is um, VDIGX, um, which is another one, it's a dividend growth, um, uh, 0.22%, it's a little bit high again but um, under 1%, which is something that I appreciate. Um, so the growth here is right there, 32,000 over 10 years. We invest in $10,000, about 22,000 return. Holdings, again, are solid dividend paying companies uh, from McDonald's to Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, Medtronics, Microsoft, boy, um, Nike, uh, Colgate. This is awesome. So this, I mean, the composition is just so sweet. And, and then finally, um, it's one Vanguard Dividend Appreciation, VDADX. Um, expense ratio is 0 0.08, that's awesome. Makes us happy. Uh, minimum investment is $3,000. And this one, um, performance is not the, the, the best, uh, but again, it's still good. And so there we go, guys. So those are my top um, five Vanguard dividend paying um, index fund. So um, a, a lot of you guys that are looking at uh, just getting into the market and you don't want to have to do any sort of work to pick individual companies, this is something that you can definitely consider to put in, in your portfolio. And again, um, I mean, I think Warren Buffett you know, says, hey, if you just buy index funds, find some place, sit and relax. So a mixture of index funds and ETFs in your portfolio um, then you don't have to worry about researching individual stocks, which takes away all that headache. So question of the day, what are your best or top five Vanguard um, index funds, uh, dividend pay index funds? Let me know in the comment section. Again, guys, um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that really interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, Stay safe, stay motivated.